am at Johnny Ox Pizzeria located at Electric Works and today I'm going to talk with their owner, learn how their artisan pizza is made and of course give it a taste. Joining me now is the founder and owner of Johnny Ox Pizza, Johnny Bojanov. Hello, Johnny. Hey, how's how are it you going? Doing? Great. Thanks Good. for stopping by, Jessica. Yes, absolutely. So your pizzeria is pretty historic in a sense that you are the only black-owned pizzeria in Fort Wayne. Most Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and you're here at Electric Works, which is a great location. Got the sun shining in. So yeah. tell me, what made you open up this pizza place? Uh, well, I looked at uh, some of the other locations around. Uh, I had kind of a more sophisticated or more technical type of a concept that I was going to do. Uh, the spaces on the other side of the hall from where I'm at now just didn't seem feasible. And then coming out of COVID, the economy where that was going, uh, and then the high school kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I found out there wasn't going to be a pizza vendor in here and I was, I've was i always been passionate about making pizza since yeah. uh, culinary school. So. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be the easiest uh, type of uh, operation to you know execute as yes. far as everybody can afford it. It's great for families, mm -hmm. uh, and I could put out a, a nice from scratch product. So right, yeah, I, you uh, have to have a pizza place. Gotta up, have a yeah, pizza place. Like in these type of places, <laughs> I was just surprised that there wasn't one, mm -hmm. so I jumped on it, and uh, so I ditched the one concept for this one, which is been good for us so yeah, far. Yeah, so. and just that concept, um, throwing those things around is interesting because you are a chef, so you do have different backgrounds and cuisine expertise, so you could have opened up several different types of restaurants. Exactly. So you went with pizza. So talk to me more about your passion for pizza and what people can expect here that's different from a different pizzeria. Well, I've always been uh, uh, passionate about like artisan bread baking, mm -hmm. so uh, I, had, I had worked with uh, bread for many years now. Uh, when I was in culinary school, I was working on the northeast side of Portland in Oregon, and I wanted to get a job closer to home. So I was on the west side in Beaverton, and uh, every time I would go to the local Fred Meyer Big Bear, I would smell this wood burning from a, uh, an upper scale Italian restaurant called La Prima Trattoria. Mm -hmm. And one day I went in after lunch service to sell my bread baking skills. And uh, I met, met the chef that day, he hired me, brought me in, and we started working on uh, some breads and whatnot, mm -hmm. pastries, and then uh, that's where the passion began. Uh, what's specific about it is uh, long, slow fermentation, uh, doing all the charcuterie in-house as far as uh, getting pork butts in, Cuban seasoning, grinding them up, 100% uh, whole milk mozzarella cheese, and uh, one of the most crucial parts is cooking on that stone. Yes, uh, that above nice. 600, 625 degrees, it's something that a uh, conveyor belt type oven can't uh, replicate. Yeah. Uh, there's a synergy that happens when the crust hits that hot surface. Mm -hmm. And then again, the 100% mozzarella, uh, the, uh, the organic flour and the mm -hmm. tomato that we use are all mm -hmm. Uh, you know, shine in the product, yeah. I believe. So. And I know that you aim to be original and unique in the products that you offer here. And so tell me about some of the pizza selections that people can get when they come in. Well, I wanted it to, I did want to kind of defer from like the old school, old school Italian family owned pizzeria shop that we all have heard about or know, mm -hmm. or some of us have had a, you know, pleasure of going into. Um, so I didn't want to get too eccentric with them, but we do have some creative, uh, unique uh, uh, pizzas here, uh, specifically possibly the Angel's Peruvian Chicken, mm -hmm. which kind of draws on those Latin flavors from the other concept that I was going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, slow roasted chicken, uh, the ahi green sauce, uh, the indigenous uh, Peruvian piquant chili red pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's the green ox. Uh, kind of stems from my daughter's love of basil. I made a sauce out of that. Kind of, you know, I kind of have, I have two children, but she's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and then what? we have a uh, <laughs> seasoned ricotta, uh, whole milk mozzarella, roasted mm -hmm. mushrooms in the house and spinach. Uh, but uh, 
And then we have the classics, Italian sausage, uh, the easel pepperonis, always going to do really well. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a rotating menu, actually. Uh, we'll run a pie for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one currently on now, named after a, uh, a loyal customer. Mm -hmm. And then once that runs its course, we'll do something else creative to keep the creative juices flowing. So okay. outside of some of the standards, the couple signature pizzas that we have, you can always pretty much find something new that you won't find anywhere else. So. Yeah. And so when people taste your pizza, what is the biggest reaction or response that you get when you see people take that bite? It's about the crust. I mean, now that we've been here for a year, I've had a chance to dial in the humidity, uh, the, uh, the atmosphere as far as, and then the amount of hydration in my dough based mm -hmm. off of the tool that we've had a chance to work with over a year or so. Uh, I'm going for uh, crispy, thin, crunchy. Uh, there's some other textural elements that are in there. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice for everyone to get it right hot off the stone here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing like it, but we box plenty of them up to go as well. So, yeah. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys, look at this fresh out of the oven. Two different types of pizza from Johnny. Ox Pizzeria. I'm gonna start with the green ox. It looks so good. Big, huge slices, by the way. Mm. Mm. This first one, the green ox, is so delicious. The flavor of the pesto comes out immediately. It's hot. It's like a thin crust, so it's crispy, but it also has enough thickness to it to not make the pizza fall, which is great. The flavor combination is so wonderful. This may be my favorite one and I haven't even tasted the other one yet. Next here, this fun Italian flair one. Here we go. Look how big these slices are, by the way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is good. Very creative in the flavor choices. You get some chicken on there if you like that. Like I said, very generous sizes. But if I had to choose, guys, this green ox, this is the one. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy this. <laughs> okay, so what are your hours here? How can people come in and try out? I know that you have certain times that you give slices and full pies. Uh, full pies all day, 11 to nine, Monday through Saturday. We do slices from 11 to two and four to six on those days. Sunday, we are currently 11 to 6, and then I've extended the hours, and I'm going on the slices, that is, from 11 to 3 on that day. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, so good to talk right. with you, Johnny. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. And if you would like more information about Johnny Ox Pizzeria, you can actually come by Electric Works and give it a taste, and also check out their website that's listed below. We'll be right back.